Hello, this is Nurse Tilson here. This is a quick video to show how to set up a cabinet which has doors and drawers in the same volume. Here we have a little cabinet which is just an example cabinet, there's no assembly details, but I've just set it up so that we have, let's stop it turning, so that we have here uh, five drawers in the cabinet. I've taken the top off so we can see inside and we have two glass doors here in front which close. To have the doors in front of the drawers we have to set up a little filler here so that we're, there's enough space here in this particular position here to put the hinges for the doors. So if you're using um, bloom hinges or dish hinges we have to have enough place for the hinges go on the door and to be also screwed on the side here and the hinges themselves will be require at least 37 millimeters a bit more because of 37 millimeters is drilling position but a bit more for the actual hinge hardware so how do we do this in fact it's pretty simple it just takes a bit of time and a bit of thinking out but let's go into how we're going to do this let's set up a new cabinet to start with and just set up something which has got a decent width on it. Let's give it a meter so that we can set it all up. And let's just quickly put in a plinth underneath so that it looks okay. A plinth. And let's put a 30 meter recess on the plinth. Okay, now let's, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the drawers inside. Um, so we're looking 3D what we have here. It's just a simple white box and let's set up the drawers inside it. So, to set up the drawers inside, we don't want the drawers going to the filling up the whole volume here. What we want to do is set up already the sides which are going to be used for the drawers and then we're going to put a filler in. So let's put in these sides for the, the, going to be, the drawers are going to be hooked onto. So to do that we're going to put in uprights. Um, we're going to put an upright from the left, say let's put an upright at 50 millimeters and click in this volume here, click right and let's put an upright in here, this time from the right, 50 millimeters, and we have our two uprights here. Now let's set these uprights back so I'm going to click on the upright here and relative to the front let's set it back say 50 millimeters and I'll do the same for this side, relative to the front let's set it back 50 millimeters and now let's put our, well, before we put our drawers in, let's also put the filler in here. All right, let's put in, let's take the top off as well, because then we'll be able to see what's happening inside when we go to 3D. We go to 3D, we can see here we've got two sides, full sides in fact, aren't they? The full sides. And now let's put the filler in. Now to put the filler in, we're going to use an option called double back. We're going to click in the volume as usual, click right, and you have a uh, an option called double back. This is just a panel which is going to fill the volume but it's parallel to the back and we're going to put it a distance, hit click here, distance from the front and let's set it back for instance 60 mil and it, it is actually a filler here now do the same on the other side, let's set it back, double back and set it back from the front 60 mil and what does this give? And this is actually built a construction, sort of a false box here and now we can put our drawers in. So here we are in the cabinet edit mode. Let's select the inner volume and add drawers. Let's add um, five drawers and let's apply them, build them in. For the assembly details, let's add all the assembly details. Click OK and let's click OK. And we can see that the drawers have been set up. If we go into 3D, here we have our drawers. Let's change the materials of the inside of the drawers like that. We'll see a bit clearer what's happening inside. Let's go into sub method and material styles and let's put a material style that we use for bloom drawers. I click bloom draw material style. This is not this is just to make it a bit clearer what's happening inside here so we can see more clearly the drawers. We can also put a bloom draw method on it if we want. So let's put a draw method and let's put a bloom slider on it. This will resize the drawers 
so that we have enough space to put the Bloom slider and give it all the assembly details necessary for the Bloom slider. But you can see how to set that up in another video in our training sessions. Um, let's we see that the drawers are actually here built into flush to the front facade. Uh, what we would like is to set them back so that they are a bit a bit set back relative to the vertical divisions here. That's so let's just go into when the drawers at the front are selected, let's say here in the parameter slack in depth, let's put 55. As we were 50 back from the from the front, the vertical division, 50 back, if we put 55, draws will be set back. Now with five millimeters between the front and the draw facade. And here we have our drawers set up with the fillers on the side. Let's give a bit more slack between the drawers. Let's say that um, instead of 30, let's put 40 millimeter slack between the drawers like this. And now we have a more open drawer design. And, and the drawers are being set up with the necessary manufacturing details to put in the Blum sliders, remember. And now let's set up the doors. OK, let's set up a door. Now to set up the door, we have to select all the volumes. We want the doors going over in front of all the drawers. So I'm going to click s four times here until I get the whole inner volume here selected in blue. And then I will click right and I will add a door. Let's put a double door and I click OK. And now we have a double door on the outside of our cabinet. And here we have it. Drawers inside, double doors on the outside. Open and close. And we have the place, the room here to put our sliders, our Bloom sliders, and our Bloom hinges will we, we, fit along here. If we have a look in our X ray view, we can see that here we have the place, just the room to put the, put the door hinge. So I, I hope that's been interesting. That's just a little quick video to show you how to put the drawers and doors on the same bit of bit of furniture and how when you've got a hang of it it's really quick really easy and you can play with all different parameters to get a really neat and effective design thank you very much for looking goodbye